I don't know what teed Jimmy Butler off before his Miami Heat's home matchup against the Brooklyn Nets, but Butler was in one of those moods. You don't see him do this often in the regular season. He usually saves it for the playoffs, but he was in his bag in this one. J.J. Alone and Walker did all he can to help the Nets stay in this one. Walker had 23 points, but all in all, it was about great play from Butler. Beautiful dime there inside to Nicholas Claxton, but who's gonna guard that man? I got a lot of love and respect for Mikael Bridges in his game. He had no answer for Butler in this one. Little boy day tomorrow. And then Duncan Robinson joining the fun, because it really ain't no fun if the homie can't get none. He nails the three. Miami up as we took a break, third quarter. Oh, it got ridiculous. No, he didn't hit him with the spin. Come back to your right. And then Butler stopping, popping, and pulling after a couple up fakes. It's back season, ladies and gentlemen, with the holidays coming around. It's Jimmy B with a nasty jab left, blow by, head and baseline, right side. Oh, that's how you feel, huh? Are you keeping it real, huh? Butler goes for 18 points in the third quarter. He had 36 for the game. Y'all know what this looks like, right? This was one of those old throwback Kobe games. I hate using that word. But y'all remember when Kobe used to just tear teams up so bad, they would get frustrated as you see Dennis Smith Jr. commit the technical foul on Butler. He's, he's mad. They're getting twats right now by a Butler-led surge. And then in the fourth, Duncan Robinson and Bam out of Bayou like, my man didn't put me in position. I'ma just finish this thing off. Look at Bam go right at a really good defender in Claxton and could care less. Out of Bayou, not done. Josh Richardson goes up top to Bam. That's the slam. That's the game. Out of Bayou adds to Butler's greatness with 20 points and seven rebounds of his own. He went at home 122-115. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing. Why build theirs? when I believe I can build my own. You've already done it, or I wouldn't be here. I'm already the only elite sports and music journalist in the game today. My goal is simple, to be the best there's ever been. So, please don't go. Make sure you subscribe and follow the journey. It truly means everything to me. I tell stories, I talk music, I cover sports. I am culture, I am Pharaoh.